corner we got fighter from Kyrgyzstan. Matsayev Lexand. Both of these athletes fought a 30-27 match over their semi-final opponents. So they both won decisively in the semi-finals, coming out as clear winners into this finals match. So Thailand boy just defeated Russian and a fighter from Kyrgyzstan fought against fighter from Hungary. The referee is just checking equipment, is everything yeah, well prepared. The referee here is Chris Sampson from New Zealand. Used to live in Pattaya, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's very familiar with the area. Coming, coming back to, to Pattaya for the championship is a bit like coming home for Chris. Yeah, exactly. And he has a great story about Pattaya as well. The, the Thai athlete, Kittisak, goes to the University for Physical Education. And the athlete from uh, Kyrgyzstan, Bekzan, he goes to the International University of Kyrgyzstan. So again, this is the male 67 kilogram division. This division is always very attractive. Both athletes are going to have a balance of, of power and speed. Exactly. And most common, they are also very, very technical. Kyrgyzstan finishes the Y crew, and Thailand already done. And here we go, shake hands, put helmet on, put mark guard. This is going to be a fantastic finals. It's going to be very high energy, very fast, very fluid. Last advice from cornerman. You can see a few people from the crowd sneaking up to get a little bit closer to the action. Yep, they will chewing up their favorite one. A few splashes of water, freshen up the athletes. Out who's gonna win. Last bout of the evening. Already so explosive. Very strong com box combination from Kyrgyzstan. As we had mentioned earlier, Thailand tends to start out a little bit slower. Um, so international countries look to press that advantage by starting out very quickly against That's Thailand true. before the Thai fighter can, can find his rhythm. Kyrgyzstan a little bit taller, maybe a little bit longer on his weapons than Thailand. Thailand stands south pole position. But Kyrgyzstan as well. Uh, we Southpaw versus Southpaw here at the moment. Yeah, it can change. <laughs> I hadn't seen the stance to start. I've noticed neither, but I think they might be both south pole. Oh, 
and landing a good kick, but Kyrgyzstan catching it and taking him to the canvas. Getting a, a quick caution by the referee. So far, Kyrgyzstan is very tough. Kyrgyzstan moving very quickly, closing the distance to Thailand quickly. Thailand with a good kick, but Kyrgyzstan catching him, moving in in the clinch and pressing in with his elbow. Not much activity happening there. Kyrgyzstan attempting a wild spinning back elbow. Not coming anywhere near the target, but hand caught in the ropes a little bit. The referee stops it and breaks it up. Now it seems both the athletes are taking a little bit more time to to figure each other out and yep, measure exactly. measure need, their attacks. They need more time to focus. Huh? It was a nice one. Kyrgyzstan back fist a nice, strong. Nice Kyrgyzstan. Back fist. It was a very, very speed one. Incredibly quick for 67 kilogram athletes. Referee encouraging them to engage. Give the judges something to score. Throw some technique. Yep, and here we go. End of first round. In my opinion, I would give to Kyrgyzstan. This is uh, this was a tough round to score because there was a lot of activity from Kyrgyzstan moving forward, but we didn't see all of it land. So yep. if Thailand, that's was, why we are very interested. Yeah. What we'll say to Earthries. If Thailand was a little bit more measured with their shots, some of the things that Thailand threw, like this kick that we're seeing, was very clear. It was clearly a score. Kyrgyzstan had a lot of activity, but not all of it, like this punch, <laughs> landed on target. But then he came around yeah. with that. He just seems like losing his balance back, but instead he just made back fist from nowhere. It yeah. was very, very technical from Kyrgyzstan. So I think I think that first round could go either way. On the judges' scorecard, yeah. depending depending on again where they were sitting, what they saw, and what they what they felt connected. That's very, very possible. It might go as well for red and blue. Right into the clinch straight away. A few elbows thrown and a good knee from Thailand. It looks like uh, I Thailand think, might have gotten yeah, some advice from his corner to tie it up in the clinch. Wake up from the corner man yeah. from Thailand. Immediately, Thailand going for the clinch again. So it looks like that's the uh, the new game plan moving forward. Yep. Is the way to success of Thai clinching. Kyrgyzstan just lost balance. So that, that kick that Thailand threw that, that landed, Kyrgyzstan caught it, but it was still a point for Thailand. It's happened a few times in this match where a very solid kick has has landed and Kyrgyzstan caught it, but then didn't bring back the score after that. The referee just take care of elbow protection. Yeah, so the referee cautioning Kyrgyzstan, saying to listen, he was telling him to stop earlier and kept going. Kyrgyzstan now on the defensive. Thailand stalking him, walking forward. Kyrgyzstan is taking a lot more backward steps in this round than, than he did in the first. Exactly. Now Thais looks more offensive.
Good kick by Thailand. Looks like that punch landed. And a couple good knees from Kyrgyzstan. No points for this one. Yeah. Kyrgyzstan being cautioned about using the foot to trip. And Thailand straight back into the clinch. Kyrgyzstan throwing that spinning back fist, but a little bit too close for it to land on its target. Second round. So I think on this one we can say it was a fair bit more clearly Thailand. Yep, that's true. So if the first round went to Kyrgyzstan and second round went to Kazakhstan, then we then we have one round for each and a draw so far. Sometimes spinning techniques uh, cost loss of balance. Yeah, absolutely. You, you spin around and you've lost sight but of your target. It's so very nice to watch. <laughs> and we've it's, seen it's a, lot, a lot of uh, nice reverse elbows, back fist today. So. And many times they, they succeeded, so it's worth doing, but you need to take care about balance more. Yeah, there's, there's a high cost to spinning techniques. Um, obviously, falling off balance is, is one risk, but any time that you turn your back to your opponent, uh, it's an opportunity for them to... I think we can name it risky techniques. Risky techniques, <laughs> but, but flashy and very good looking. Let me check what's the result. Rafael's coming back with the scores. to 19 so we have a draw so it will be fantastic round there we go so Kyrgyzstan got the first round Thailand exactly. got the second round and everything rests on round number three what these athletes can put into it that'll determine you can see that they just fight for yeah. another quick equipment adjustment It's a good thing that he fixed that elbow pad because the first thing Kyrgyzstan did was come in with that rear left elbow. I think Kyrgyzstan boy just looked for the time. How much left? Uh, Thailand with that cracking the left kick right to Kyrgyzstan's rib. Back into the clinch. That's a nice right hook from Kyrgyzstan. Great left cross. Both athletes showing a little bit of their fatigue now here in the third round. It's been nearly nine minutes of action. Yeah, cost so much. But still, they need to continue because it's very, very draw right now.
with Thailand backing up like that, um, it would seem that Thailand feels like they have the lead in points. They're able to, to back away, hold on to their advantage. They're not as worried about scoring. Oh, it will be very, very hard for the referee right now. Yeah. That was a close round. Celebration from Thailand. I think with feeling, this one we just need to wait. Yeah. Thailand feeling very secure in that last round. Almost certain that he's taking the win. And here we have Thai university students out to support their, up their fellow athlete. And let's jump up who's the winner. 